Hello guys, I welcome you all on this wonderful platform that is Baiju's exam prep. So today I am here in front of you with an important notification that is coming from the side of Goa Shipyard Limited, which is a mini Ratna PSU guys. And you can see there are some management trainee posts for mechanical, electrical, electronics branches. And they are asking for all the branches full time regular, full time regular B.Tech degree or Bachelor of Engineering degree with 60% uh, or you can say equivalent CGPA. Okay, and they are also saying the age limit is 28 year for general and EWS, 31 for OBC, 33 for SC and ST. Then my dear, they are also telling us that trainee, management trainee posts are also for architecture, human resource and finance. These are the number of post metrics. You can see category wise bifurcation is given. The highest number of posts for mechanical are 12. Then for electrical is 7. Then for electronics is 3. Then for uh, naval architecture 10. 3 for HR, 3 for finance. Okay. Then my dear, they are also mentioning that the requirement of the branches. Like if you are going for mechanical post, you should be B.Tech in either mechanical or mechanical and industrial or mechanical and production or marine engineering. Naval architecture for naval, similarly for electrical and electronics, you can see. Okay. Then my dear, they are also saying that if you are having a postgraduate degree, you are eligible. It should be a 12th, after 12th, 5 years uh, degree. Okay, then you will be eligible with that also. They are also saying candidates of final year are also eligible. But uh, before joining, you need to submit the documentary, which will tell that yes, you secured with 60% marks overall in 8th semester and you passed your degree. Before joining, you need to share the documents for that. And they are also saying about uh, the date of declaration of result or assurance of passing certificate shall be deemed to be the date of acquiring the qualification and there shall be no relaxation on this account. And they are also saying about uh, CGPA. If you are having CGPA, then the percentage conversion would be, would be as per the university rule. And then they are also talking about the criteria for selection. If you are meeting the eligibility criteria, then you may have to appear for a written test. The written test may be of online mode or offline mode. They have mentioned it. And what would be the what would be the syllabus for that? They are saying the discipline knowledge, 60 marks, 25 marks for general management aptitude, which will include mental ability, reasoning, English, data analysis, numerical ability. And this total 85 marks paper will be of one hour. In English and in the both questions will be only MCQ type. If you are general EWS candidate, you need to score 50% minimum in that written test. 50% minimum and 45% for other categories there. And when we are going to get that network marks after that, you would be shortlisted in the ratio of 1 is to 5. For one post, 5 candidate would be called. And then 50 marks of interview will be conducted. And for 15 marks of interview, there also a general candidate has to score minimum 50%. And other students have to secure minimum 45%. General and EWS have the same rules. Then my dear, after a, when the interview will be conducted, then the total marks would become, uh, aggregate total marks will become the criteria for the final selection. And they are also saying us about the CTC. The CTC is the basic pay at the time of joining will be 40,000 rupees per month during the training period. Also, uh, when we are talking about this will be a job at E1 grade and you will be getting other allowance and benefits like DA, HRA, perks, allowance and other benefits as applicable to management training in accordance with the GSL policy. They are saying on successful completion of the training, when the training will be over, then you would be given the post of assistant manager in even grade, carrying the pay scale of 40,000 to 1,40,000 as per the company policy. All management training considered for absorption as assistant manager will be on probation for a period of one year from the date of absorption as assistant manager. CTC during the training period will be 11.36 lakhs per annum and after absorption, it will be 15.05 lakh per annum. They are also saying that the medical benefit, whatever will be given by the company, uh, even at the time of training will be same as that of the normal. Means you will be entitled for the all medical benefits, which would be there for a permanent medical, uh, for a permanent uh, employee as an assistant manager. They are also saying there is a security deposit. 
so when we are talking about uh, like many PSUs are having a service bond that you have to pay this much amount if you leave before that they are not doing any bond but they are going to cut 20% of your salary every month uh, the 20% will be cut from the basic pay plus DA for that 20% will be deducted and that will be deducted uh, by the company and uh, if you are going to serve them for minimum three years that will be refunded to you if you are not going to serve them for three years then that money will be non-refundable okay so that they will not refund you so this is a kind of service bond is replaced by this smart way and the place of posting they have said they, it can be anywhere uh, in, the, in the GSL and reservation will be as per the government norms there is no change about that then age relaxation we already have discussed general conditions are uh, the same as in every notification it is you can also see the detail of notification i will share it in the telegram channel of mine mechanical by dhira sardana 500 rupees is the fees for the general candidates Anna, and then you can you can see general obc candidate have to pay this 500 rupees but sc st pwbd and ex serviceman candidate are accepted from the fees okay fees will be filled by debit card credit card sbi chala net banking and also they have mentioned that if you want to apply for more than one post like for finance and other also with the engineering you want to apply so for that application what you need to do for that for that you need to fill the separate forms with the separate fees okay and they are also saying that ki, uh, whenever for the outstation candidates qualified for interview post document verification will be reimbursed to the to and fro sleeper class rail fare or bus fare by the shortest route from their nearest railway station as registered by them in the online application system to goa shipyard limited only on production of proof of journey hard copy of tickets as per the rules of the company further scst candidate on appearing for a written test will be reimbursed to and fro so for scst candidate even written test they will be getting the reimbursement but for other candidates you will not be getting for re, uh, you will not be getting reimbursement uh, if you will not show the tickets but for other candidates it is only for interview once you qualify written okay but for scst candidates even in the written examination they are getting this so payment of ta will be made on in the ecs mode and they are saying for that uh, the things are given in their carrier section you can go to that advertisement you will get that form which you need to uh, fill before submitting for getting the traveling allowance then they are also saying also saying that ki, yes these are the normal things which are there in every form and you need to apply uh, will be uploaded okay all the things will be uploaded on the notice board and they are also saying call letters for the selection process will be sent only through email to the shortlisted candidate on the registered email id so when you give the email id give it uh, in the proper way which is active upper age limit will be considered from 30 november 2023 okay they have also mentioned this in the event of finding difficulty to apply online the candidate may contact us through this email id okay and these were the normal instructions and these are the instructions for the photograph and everything so you can see that whenever you are going to fill the form they have also mentioned one thing online application opens from 3 1 2024 3rd january 2024 and it will be closing by 2 february 24 so you are getting around one month for filling the form so this was the notification so guys just stay tuned with us to get all the notifications on time join my telegram channel mechanical by dheera sardana to get the pdfs of this notifications and all and hand it a notes for mechanical and also you can join the baiju's exam prep app to get the free previous years papers of mark isro whatever are eligible in the domain for hpcl hcl and all and also on the app you will get many free tests many free previous years question many free quizzes many free tests many free study material that is available so goodbye and stay tuned with us